You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Hey, Hill. Hill here. Gaming. And welcome back to Mass Effect 2. This is Hill, and we are here with Commander Shepard on the CIC of the Normandy SR2. And Shepard has had a change of thought. Rather than go back to Omega looking for Archangel, he's decided that he's going to go to the Citadel to be reinstated as a Spectre. So, I think what we do is use the mass relay. Yes. It's been so long. Uh, Citadel, here it is. Here we go. Approaching the Citadel. All right, uh, we're going in with our Cerberus squad. And we have the opportunity here to do some upgrades. Um, oh, they only have two points. I'm the one that has four. Well, I think we may... Just leave stuff as it is for now. Commander Shepard, enter the password and receive a free gift. Okay, and you can see Commander Shepard has changed his Got armor. Got problems with collectors? Try Kasumi's credit services. And here we have another recruit. Commander Shepard, we have the finest companions waiting for you. Perhaps something petite, smart, and Japanese would be your style. <laughs> Please tell me your password, Commander Shepard. Uh, well, I have read the message, so I know it's Silence is Golden. We'll play along with her for now. Silence is Golden. Good to finally meet you, Commander Shepard. Kasumi Goto. I'm a fan. Let's find out about Kasumi and Cerberus. What brought you to Cerberus? That's a bit of a story. Short version, they were looking for me, so I trailed them to find out why. Turns out they were looking for someone to join you on an important mission. 
and we're offering a serious signing bonus. I had a thing I needed help with, so I made them a deal. And here we are. Let's find out about the secrecy. What's with the password and the sneaking around? Are you in trouble or something? I'm the best thief in the business, not the most famous. Need to watch my step to keep it that way. I also needed to make sure all this was legit. And I have no doubts now. You're the real Commander Shepard. Hmm. <laughs> Are you sure? What makes you so sure? There's a certain... aura about you. Like you've seen things no one else has. Even without knowing what you looked like, I knew it was you. Hmm. Let's see if she's been briefed. Has Cerberus filled you in on the mission? Honestly, I'm shocked they didn't come to see me sooner. My fault for being hard to find, I guess. Okay, let's, uh, have her head out. We've got a spot set up for you on the Normandy. Make yourself at home. Looking forward to it. Haven't done this kind of thing before. Big mission, saving the galaxy. I'm really glad you're helping me out with the heist. Can't wait to see how you look in formal wear. Formal wear? What does formal wear have to do with anything? I guess you could go with what you have on, but you kind of stick out at a fancy party. I'm looking for my old partner's gray box. A man named Donovan Hawk took it, and I'm planning to get it back. Okay, we can do some more investigation. Let's find out more about a gray box. I assume a gray box is some kind of hardware? It's a neural implant. Illegal in most places. Stores memories, thoughts, secret codes, illicit information. This one in particular belonged to my partner, Keiji Okuda. We worked together for a long time, before Hawk killed him. Let's see about the heist. What's this heist you're planning? Not here, Shepard. You'll get a briefing when the time comes. I need time to nail down the details anyway. I've taken the liberty of getting you some evening wear, though. You want to look presentable. Hmm. Of course. Let's learn about Donovan Hawk. What do you know about Donovan Hawk? Mr. Hawk is a well-respected businessman. Arms dealer, murderer, generally not a great guy. His mansion's famous for being hard to crack, but I have a way in, and I think you're gonna love it. And she must be expecting trouble. I doubt Hawk's the kind of guy who takes kindly to people sneaking into his house. I always expect trouble. That's why you're here. All right, only if there's time. We'll see what we can do. No guarantees. Sure. But I bet you're dying to see what it's like to come along on a heist with me. We should probably wrap this up. You look pretty silly standing there talking to an advertisement. See you on the ship, Shepard. <laughs> All right, and there we have just met Kasumi Goto. All right, so we're getting updates on her mission and the planet Beckenstein, as well as gray boxes and our two renegade points. Oh, look, Hanar. You know, I was just thinking about that. I couldn't remember if there were Hanar in Mass Effect 2. They are here. And we have a keeper over here. All Master right. Master Francis, a 20 kilo ferrous slug. Feel the weight. Every five seconds, the main gun of an Everest class dreadnought accelerates one to 1.3% of light speed. I'm sorry, sir, but I'll need you to remove any biotic amp you might be wearing. What? Why? Unfortunately, sir, biotics can be used as a weapon. Mm. The rules require me to confiscate all amps. Could you please hand over yours? I don't have one. I'm not a biotic. Oh. Well, when you objected, I thought... Mm. You humans are all racist. Wow. All right, CSEC Customs. Can I help you, sir? Security does seem heavy. Not really, but I'm going to say that anyway. It's been a couple of years since I passed through here. Security seems to have tightened a bit. After the Geth attack, there was a review of security protocol. A few minor changes were made to reduce the risk of Geth infiltration. We apologize for the inconvenience. You'd think a Geth would stand out. Assumptions are dangerous. Be alert, be safe. Thanks for your time. Next. Hmm. All right, let's head on into the Citadel. Obviously, security has tightened since you were last here. Shut it down. What? 
Do you seriously think? Yeah, okay. Sorry for the inconvenience, sir. Our scanners are picking up false readings. They seem to think you're uh, dead. It's annoying. I'm getting that everywhere. It's a pain in the ass. Who do I talk to about it? Our station commander is just beyond the scanners. Out and to the right. He can reinstate your IDs. All right, let's go on in and talk to... Is it Commander Bailey? Captain You'll Bailey. You'll have to make him scream okay. a little. He's not going to tell you everything just because you ask. I, I know, sir. If you don't have the stomach or you're worried about being reported, I can take care of it. No, sir. I can handle it. Yes, I see the problem already, Commander Shepard. My consul says you're dead. Are you not worried I'm some imposter claiming to be me? We have the best screening equipment in the galaxy. Those scanners can sample DNA from skin flakes. Hell, if you have unregistered gene mods, they can even figure those out. Your sergeant said you could help with that. Usually, you'd have to go through the station security administration to reactivate your IDs. Then to customs and immigration to regain access to the Citadel itself, and probably a stop by the Treasury. Spending a year dead is a popular tax dodge. Hmm. But I can see you're a busy man. So how about I just press this button right here, and we call it done? Uh, I'm just gonna say do it. That'd be great. Done. You're good to go. Thank you, Captain. You should head up to the Presidium, though. The Council would probably like to know that one of their lost specters is still kicking. And how do I get there? What's the easiest way to get to the Presidium from down here? Head back through the security checkpoint and take a public shuttle. What? I will. Having access to the Council and the specters' resources would be useful. Yeah. The Council can get anything. Best thing about working CSEC is that any equipment, information, or money you need, you get. Anyway, something else you need? Or can I get back to work? Uh, goodbye. I should be going. You need anything else? Let me know. So, take a shuttle. Okay. <laughs> Alright, let's, let's see if this works. Okay, here's rapid transit. And we're going to the Presidium. Now that looks familiar. Shepard! Welcome back to the ranks of the living. I wasn't sure you got my message. What did you want to see me about? I'll be honest. I was hoping the Council would be here for this meeting. I spoke to Udina. He never listens to me. Ever since he got the seat on the council, he thinks the stars shine out of his ass. Hmm. He's a politician. What did you expect? I don't know. But he should listen to me once in a while. An advisor isn't much use if you ignore everything he says. I'm still not clear on why he wanted me to come. There's been a lot of talk since you came back. Some of what I hear has been, frankly, a little disturbing. I wanted to give you a chance to explain your actions. Maybe get the Council to see things from your point of view. But they refuse to see you. You let the previous Council die during Sovereign's attack on the Citadel. They feel you'll always put human interests before galactic concerns. Rumors that you're working with Cerberus haven't helped. What are you doing out there? Um, what happened to the Human Council? All right, anyway, we're going to get into an argument now. What did you expect? You left me for dead. Turned your back on me, just like you've done to our missing colonists. We thought you were dead. As soon as I heard different, I sent you that message. I know you, Shepard. I know you wouldn't work for Cerberus without a good reason. Something more is going on here. This isn't about Cerberus. The Collectors are abducting our colonists in the Terminus systems. And I think they're working for the Reapers. The Collectors? We hadn't considered that. There's so little data. They've always seemed like a fringe threat. 
If they're a front for the Reapers, this is big. But even that may not be enough to get the Council off its tail. Udina and the others have spent the past two years convincing themselves the Reapers don't exist. I tried to get the truth out, but they don't want to see it. It's just easier for them to accept Sovereign as a Geth warship. What about the evidence? Are they blind? What about Vigil, the Prothean VI on Ilos? The VI in Ilos shut itself down. You're the only one who spoke to it, just like you and your crew are the only ones who spoke directly to Sovereign. Officially, the existence of the Reapers has been dismissed as a myth spread by Saren to convince the Geth to follow him. We both know the truth. But I've spent two years fighting that line, and I don't have much to show for it. Hmm. Yeah, let's see, can you help him? At all? You know the threat the Reapers represent? There must be something you can do. It's up to you to stop the Reapers, Shepard. I can't even toss you a symbolic title like Spectre. Udina keeps close tabs on that designation. He's decided it's just an invitation to go rogue. Fine way to show gratitude for putting him in the big seat. Well, I guess he's not going to become a Spectre. And he's kind of upset right now, so it's a relic that he doesn't need. I think I made my opinion of the Council's blessing pretty clear last time around. Keep it. Figured as much. But it should be yours to refuse. Doesn't feel like I'm able to give you the help you deserve. It's all up to you. I'll keep the Council and the Alliance off your back. Shouldn't be too hard if you're operating out in the Terminus systems. Anderson, we need to talk about... Shepard, what are you doing here? I got a long list of people I didn't want to see, and your name is right at the top. The feeling is mutual, believe me. Your return is a bureaucratic nightmare for us. I'll have to make sure to speak with the rest of the Council and let them know I had nothing to do with you coming here. You know they refused to meet with the Commander. And you know they have good reason. There could be serious political ramifications. Anderson, I expect to see you in my office when you're done here. What an ass. Hmm. Will Adina find a way to get rid of you over this? I should be so lucky. But once he cools off, he'll probably decide to keep me around. Hmm. Besides, there aren't any official records that you and I spoke. And Udina will want to make sure it stays that way. If I get fired, people will ask questions. So he'll keep me on and just sweep this whole mess under the rug. All right, we can do some investigation here. Let's ask about the war with the Geth. Last I knew, we were still fighting holdouts. They're here and there. But they are increasingly disorganized. It's long since stopped being called a war. More like cleanup. Not that you can ever discount them. But we haven't had serious casualties for months. A civilian ship will spot an enclave and we send in a squad to clear it. They're not quite the boogeymen they used to be. Okay, let's ask about the remains of Sovereign. I'm surprised no one can tell Sovereign isn't Geth technology. Didn't they examine the wreckage? We don't have much to look at. Pieces of it rained all over the station. It was chaos, with who knows how many species combing the wards for their dead. We secured as much of it as we could. But between the Keepers and a whole lot of unauthorized salvage, there's no way to account for even half of that thing. Another reason why they don't want to acknowledge what Sovereign was. And let's ask about the damage to the Citadel. How long did it take to get this place back up to speed after the battle? Still counting. The main areas of commerce and the most populated wards are complete. But estimates for total restoration are sitting around five years. The Keepers always surprise us, though. It's like our repairs are annoying. We'll put up an ugly new bulkhead, and in a few days, they've made it seamless. We never really thought of them as heavy lifters, and I have no idea where they get the resources. But we'd never get done without them. All right. Let's ask about Caden. What happened to Staff Lieutenant Olenko after the Normandy was destroyed? Staff Commander Olenko is still with the Alliance. But he's working on a special mission. It's classified. I can't say any more. Not while you're working with Cerberus, I'm sorry. Hmm. All right. Well, we can ask, since we're old friends, how have you been? How have the last couple of years treated you? 
Working for Udina isn't how I plan to spend my twilight years. Sometimes it feels like I'm just beating my head against a wall. Knowing the truth about Sovereign is brutal. It's nightmare stuff. I can't blame others for not wanting to believe it, but I know how important it is. So I keep trying. Fighting the good fight, right? Come with me. Forget Udina and the Council. Join my crew and help me stop the Collectors. I'm too old to go racing across the galaxy. Much as I complain, I've got an important job to do here. The front line, that's got to be yours. It's too bad. It would be nice to have Anderson on board the uh, Normandy. Okay, well that's it then. I better go. Of course, Shepard, I understand. I wish I could do more to help you. But if you ever want to talk, I'll be here. Just do me a favor and be careful. You can't trust Cerberus. That's what everyone says. All right. Let's go. Do I... Should I listen to the galactic news? Two years since the destruction of the Destiny Ascension, planning for the fleet of the new Allied Citadel Defense Unit have reached another impasse. The Asari Republics has ceded its share of defense responsibility to the Turian hierarchy. The Human Alliance maintains a majority share of forces. Hmm. Okay. Let's go. Okay. Zakira Ward. I think we need to go and look at some of these things, these areas here. I think there's some upgrades we can get. As well as missions, too. I see this, uh... Quarian woman. This Calandus is a thief. And I want her arrested. I was just walking by. Uh, wait. Is it, are these these people from Mass Effect 1? What do you think, Michael? Maybe yep. the immuno booster? It's supposed to help with alien bacteria. We can get whatever you'd like for little Jake, Rebecca. Wait, the immuno booster can delay muscle development in high gravity environments. What if that hurts him? Oh, we can't interact with him this time. Fine. All right, Kian Loros. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. Oh, he's just going to come in here and demand a discount? All right, well, we'll try it. I bet you don't make many sales. This ward isn't exactly the Presidium. Not a big market for expensive tech here. The Foundation is not concerned with profits. A portion of our sales funds research to cure genetic diseases. That's a noble goal. But maybe if you took off a few percentage points, sales would improve enough to offset the balance. I cannot hold a sale without permission from the district manager. How about for one special customer with a large credit account? Someone like Commander Shepard, hero of the Citadel? Oh! Your shepherd. I didn't even think I... Well, you must get injured frequently on your missions. I could give you my employee discount if it would encourage you to make a large purchase. That would certainly encourage me. Please, browse our catalog. Shepard is a mess. Okay, let's look at this catalog. Metagel capacity. Let's get it. This looks interesting. Life support webbing. Hmm, that's not very attractive. <laughs> um, increases health by 10%. I don't know. Do I need that? We'll get it. Might as well while we have a uh, discount. Okay. And the let's nerve enhancements say that there are keep going. Marab. Welcome to Sarinus Applications. Can I address you? Ah, Shepard! Do I know you? No, but I know you. Even a senile Hanar would remember the human who fought off the Geth. I thought you were dead. Yeah, I've been getting that a lot. <laughs> Please, look around the store. It's a pleasure to have you here. Mm-mm. He's going for the renegade. And he wants a discount. 
You know, I'm on a very important mission right now. I don't doubt it. The savior of the Citadel would get nothing less. The problem is the damn bureaucrats. They won't get me the latest astrographic data. You can't save the galaxy with star charts from 2183, right? 2183? Why don't they just give you a slide rule and ask you to eyeball it? Exactly. That's why I need a reliable supplier who can sell me updates at wholesale. Wholesale? Of course, Shepard. Anything I can do to bring the fight to the Geth, you've got it. Wow. This guy is accommodating. All right, what has he got over here? Oh, I can't afford any of this. Okay, well, it looks like this, um, ablative VI would be helpful. All right, and since we're not a tech character, we don't need the other thing. All right, well, that's something to bear in mind. We have a discount on that item. Don't want to hear any more news. Uh, I guess we'll just go upstairs because we started on this bottom level here. All right, because we'll come back and help the quarry in later on. Cafe, I believe. I hear this is the best place for food on Zakarawart. You heard wrong. This is the best place for food on the whole damn citadel. Uh oh. Believe, yes, we can get these provisions for the chef on board the Normandy. And I'm not buying novels. I don't care if they are five credits. All right, we got that. else have we got here? Oh, this is Commander Captain Bailey. And what do we have here? Good day, my friends. Welcome to the Citadel. Wow, we're going to accuse her of classism? Well, it is a renegade option. Let's go for it. You know, for a bunch of cheap touristy crap, your prices are pretty high. I am sorry you feel that way. There are many stores on the Citadel. Perhaps another would be more in your price range. So, you're saying I'm poor? Just because I'm not as well off as you doesn't mean you can hold yourself above me. What? No, I... Hey, everyone! This store discriminates against the poor! Uh, please, calm down! As an apology, I'll let you have my station employee discount. Is that acceptable? Well, all right. But you still hurt my feelings. Please, enjoy your shopping experience. Uh, what, what can I say? Oh, boy. All right, what have we got here? Oh, what? A space hamster. Mm-hmm. All right, let's go. Wait, are these, these Krogan over here? I think... I heard that those yeah. lakes up on the Presidium are filled with fish. No, they're not. You ever been up there? No. CSEC won't let me. They say I'm a risk. Uh, they think every Krogan is dangerous. Damn Turians. We should kill them all. So, I can't talk to these guys? Alright, let me... I think we can buy this fish here and pass it off as... Or is this the fish from my aquarium? I don't know. Anyway... Yeah, sorry. I guess I can't give them this fish. I don't think I'm remembering this stuff that well. Okay, let's... Is there anything else? Let's go up. Level 26. Or, you know, I think we have not been to that level. Or have we? Oh, this is... Yeah, we've been here. Okay. Well, what does this chef have to say? Not much. All right. Well, 
let's go ahead and help her out. We need, we need I felt her hand go into experience. My I'm sorry, I'm trying to take a statement here. There's nothing to talk about. She stole my credit shit. Arrest her. I did not, just because I'm a Quarian. I need you to stop and take a deep breath. You're mocking me, <laughs> Earth Clan. Just because the Vault Clan need... It was a poor choice of words, sir. I apologize. Let's ask the Volus opinion. You say she stole your credit chip? She must have. When I left the Serta Foundation store, she ran right into me. Are you sure you didn't leave your chit at the Serta Foundation? Of course not. You think I'd make a mistake like that? Yes. I didn't even buy anything there. That chit stayed in my pocket. How does running India mean she stole your credit chit? That's how pickpockets work. They bump into you and use that as a cover for rifling your pockets. You can't turn your back on these clanless quarians. Thieves. All of them. Okay. Uh, let's get the CSEC opinion. Do you know who's telling the truth? My Omni tool can tell the quarian doesn't have a chit on her. But she could have stashed it to recover later. You know what quarians are like. <laughs> and she's definitely a vagrant. Wow. I'll run her in and see what Bailey wants to do with her. And let's get the Quarian opinion. You say you're falsely accused? I was walking to the used ship dealer when he barged into me outside the Serta Foundation. He didn't stop or say he was sorry. A minute later, he runs up with C-Sec and accuses me of stealing his damn chip. Uh, you look at ships a lot? You spend a lot of time at the used ship dealer? Yeah. They've got a lot of nice models. I'd like to buy one and take it back to the fleet, but... A decent-sized chip, even used, costs hundreds of thousands of credits. I know. It's crazy, right? But I still like to daydream when I look at the hollows. And I could do amazing things to the engines. I'd make them sing like birds. Hmm. All right. Well, Shepard is going to look into I'll this. I'll see if I can find out what happened. Sir, this is a C-Sec matter. We'll do all we can... <sighs> all we can to resolve this. We don't need civilian help. If you do happen to find the chit, please let one of her officers know. Let's go. Be careful out there. Okay, so let's go back to the Serta Foundation. Wait, is this the Serta Foundation? Okay. Good day, citizen. Welcome to the Serta Foundation outlet on Zakira Ward. Let's ask about Corton's credit chit. A Volus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? And not that I saw. He didn't purchase anything. That's it. Tell me about your store. The Serta Foundation is a human organization known for its genetic therapy regimens and genetically engineered products. Serta is probably best known for the development of Metagel. Oh, wow, I didn't know that. All right. Thanks for your time. Come back soon, Shepard. I just... He's my baby. He's all I have left of Jacob. Let's ask Marab. Ah, my favorite customer. What can I get you? Avolus was in here not too long ago. Did he drop a credit chit? Oh, yes. He bought some environmental system drivers, then left without his chit. I didn't notice he'd left until he was already gone. If you see him, tell him I have it here behind the counter. Okay. Thanks for your time. I'll be here if you need anything. You know what quarians are like. Please move along. You forgot your credit chit at Saronis Applications. The clerk is holding it for you. Oh. Well. The Quarian could have stolen it. Mm. I'll close this event report. But I'll be watching you. Get a permanent residence, or I'll run you in for vagrancy. Thank you. I... I wish I could give you something more than words. 
What the hell was that CSEC guy's problem? He had no evidence that you did anything wrong. I don't know. Everyone's been like that since I got here. Okay, we got 40 experience. Five Paragon and 1,000 credits. I think we've got enough. What was it over here that we needed? Oh, still don't have enough. How did... Okay. All right. Whatever. All right. I think it's time to head back to the Normandy then. Normandy, oh no. Oh, of course, it's right at the top. Okay, return to the Normandy, let's go. So our mission to, to be reinstated as a Spectre was a failure. We did pick up a new recruit. And now we're going to have to decide where to go next. I think I have an idea, though. But we will talk about that. Oh, we got a trauma module. Wait, did I? Okay. Anyway, we will continue with more of Mass Effect 2 in our next episode. This is Hill, and I'm out.